Hello YouTube land. I'm uh, coming to you today from my office because I have an interesting gun in my hand that I thought you might like to see. This gun is called a Browning Double Automatic 12 et And it's, it is in fact interesting because it is designed, if you look at it, you can see that it does not have, as most semi-automatics do, a tube. There's no magazine tube on this gun. And so you might ask yourself, how then does it hold shells to fire semi-automatic? And the answer to that is, if we look at the other side of the gun, there's a port that we don't normally see on a semi-auto shotgun. And that port is there so that someone can put a round in it and put it in there. And as soon as it went in, as you can see, it automatically loaded it up into the chamber. And then we put this other one in. So... This gun is designed to only fire two rounds. You put one in the chamber and the other one resides below it. And so I can visibly look at it and I can see that this gun is loaded. And then when I'm ready to, if I eject the gun, that other one pops itself right up in there like it should. And now the gun is empty. And so uh, it's really cool. This gun was designed uh, by Val Browning, that's John Browning's son, and it was uh, put into production in Belgium, I think 1959, and it ran through 1971. And uh, while that is a fairly long time for production, it never really was a big commercial success like we think of uh, other past Browning guns such as the Browning Auto 5. Um, it's also one of the first, if not the first gun to utilize an alloy receiver, and this gun was produced in a multitude of colors. Uh, this particular one is called Velvet Gray, but they made them, uh, you know, like in a, a green color. You could get a standard blue one. They, there were a number of colors that were offered. Um, but anyway, I thought that uh, if you look at the stock on this, if you look at the butt pad, um, I'm trying to get that focused for you. There you go. You can see that Val included a profile of his father on there, which probably was designed to help the gun sell a little better, which it actually didn't. So at the end of the day, FM produced somewhere around 65,000 of these shotguns. And uh, today, they're actually a pretty neat find. I've read about them before, uh, just never had one come in. And if we look at it, we can see that it's got some really neat engraving. From what I read, these were actually uh, hand engraved at the factory. You can see there that it Trying to get it focused. Boy, I'm having a hard time with that, but um, there you go. And you can see it's got some really pretty wood. So um, anyway, for those of you who may have a Browning collection and maybe want that thing that you've never seen before, this might be an option. This is kind of cool too. If we look at this, uh, we simply pull down on this little switch and then push this out two clicks. And when we push the forehand out two clicks, we can just lift the barrel smoothly out of the gun and as you can see because there's no tube it's just that simple pretty cool so uh hope you are well we're gonna get this thing uh, oiled up cleaned up and put it out on uh, gun broker and see how it does have a great day thank you